And now May is Maternal Mental Health Month. June is Gun Violence Awareness Month. There are unique ways to help people with trauma and loss like this. Uh, joining us now to talk about the Comfort Cub, Ambassador Alicia O'Neill. Good morning, Alicia. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm just holding this. I feel instant comfort. So let's talk about that. How does a weighted teddy bear help? There's actual science behind this, right? There is, yeah. So it's actually letting off chemicals like dopamine, mm. serotonin. Yeah. Um, it's weighted, right? So you're feeling it right now mm -hmm. and it's giving you even as a hug the yeah. oxytocin that we would get from a hug from one another. Oh, see, it's that connection. And I think for a lot of people, when they're going through trauma and loss, um, it's hard for us to know what to do to help them. Um, yeah. So if you could explain, I know it's, you know, it's hard to even know what to say. Yeah. Um, would this be a good gift for people? It, it would, actually. And I'm grateful that you asked. Um, I often get phone calls from individuals that have just met me um, mm -hmm. within the community or across the lines because... I received my comfort cub um, after the loss of my son, mm. Jordan Hart, in 2019. And I received in this card, yeah. um, we actually have individual cards that are meant for individuals uh, experiencing grief and loss. Okay. And that might look like the loss of a child, the mm -hmm. loss of a parent. Um, we've supported individuals that are survivors of mass shootings yeah. um, wow. across the nation. And it's just bringing that comfort and support when those of us that don't know what to mm -hmm. say or what to do yeah. um, can provide a little bit of love and comfort. Oh, I'm so sorry you went through that. Um, and now, uh, you know, you're speaking on behalf of Comfort Cubs yeah. uh, to spread the message that they share. Uh, tell me about that. Why is that so important for you to be part of now? I think that having gone through what I experienced mm -hmm. as far as my own personal loss, it really, um, it, makes, it makes you kind of feel alone, mm -hmm. quite frankly. And so what the Comfort Cub has done is really connected me to a community of other individuals, letting me know that I'm not alone in my grief and my loss. Mm -hmm. um, the individual that created the Comfort Cub, Marcella Johnson, yeah. she created this cub because of her own experience mm -hmm. and seeing the need for others to really receive um, that comfort that can come from the weight, that therapy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I know for uh, the month of May, it can be hard for a lot of people who have lost children, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and to be able to hold this, it, it's hard for me to even let go because it is very comforting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's a, um, individuals, so month of May can mm -hmm. be really challenging for mamas, but also those that maybe have lost a parent, yeah. um, right? So Mother's Day has been really right. challenging for those individuals that don't have their mother here anymore mm -hmm. as well um, as those that may have lost a child, whether it be after birth or later in life. Um, we're yeah. moms forever. Right. Um, and those oh. that have experienced miscarriage or loss, mm -hmm. um, those that are experiencing infertility, yeah. we really see the need for okay. that love and support. And I know we mentioned June also being Gun Violence Awareness Month. You went through pretty severe uh, incident in Santee, Santana High School, right? I did, yeah. So um, I was a junior uh, in 2001 wow. at Santana High School uh, when we had the shooting. And we were actually provided, not with the Comfort Cub, which would have been really helpful at right. the time, um, but with an array of just different types of teddy bears. And again, I can recall feeling just really supported by the community at that mm. time. There's somebody out there that's thinking about me and what I might be experiencing or going through mm -hmm. and that I'm cared for. Yeah. Um, so giving that generosity, but this is like what helps me sleep at night, thinking mm -hmm. about like the weight I sleep with. This is my you Jordan Bear. Yeah. He's five years love, oh. so obviously looks a little That's different so. than some of the new ones. Yeah. Um, but I sleep with it every How single sweet. night. Yeah. My husband and I cuddle around oh. him. Um, I yeah. like to share that I wouldn't have been able to walk out of the hospital if it weren't for this bear. <sighs> Oh, okay. Um, how can people that want to be part of this, how can they help out? Um, we are a nonprofit, so mm -hmm. it's all donation-based. Okay. Um, we would appreciate if you just visit our website. It's thecomfortcub.org. Mm -hmm. And for every um, cub that's purchased as well, so if you have somebody that you're trying to reach out to for support, um, another one is donated. Oh, how nice. So okay. we're able to support so many individuals throughout the community. Okay. And you've donated to quite a few places. Oh, nationally, yeah. locally. Yes, so the Comfort Cub, George. George was um, Marcella's son uh -huh. um, who passed, and he would be 25 years old this wow. year. Okay. And so we've been around for 25 years oh. now. Okay, yeah. Alicia, thank you so much for sharing your yeah, story. Thank you. And thank you for uh, explaining the importance of this. There's yeah. even science behind it. And I don't want to let 